This is not what coding looks like. Instead, this is what coding looks like. But what does that even mean? Programming is not typing some weird text really fast and magically cool things starts to happen. Far from it, programming is more about learning certain rules so that you can interact with computers. Once you understand these rules, you apply logic using those rules to solve problems. And if you are stuck, you search for solution on Google and then apply that solution in the right way. The whole goal of learning to code for beginners is to reach that point where you can apply logic and search things in Google. The next big question, how to reach that point? But more importantly, what mistakes not to make along the way? Here are three things you need to keep in mind if you are learning to code in 2022. Number one, programming is a language. Like English, programming is a language a language to interact with computers. To speak in English, you don't need to know each and every word in the dictionary to express yourself or understand others. You just need to be familiar with the structure of the language and know how to place words in sensible order. Programming is every bit the same. You just need to know the structure of certain codes and know how to use them sensibly. And when you start to understand the structure of code and its intent, you'll start to notice the certain patterns. You'll regularly see similar structures being used to solve different kinds of problems. Let me give you an example. This is a simple code that prints you are eligible to vote if age is greater than or equals to 18. In this case, the given age is 21, so the sentence is printed. Simple. Now let's use a similar structure in another code. This code makes the result pass if the score is greater than or equal to 14. The structure of these two codes are similar, but we are performing two completely different tasks. This is not a coincidence. As I said earlier, programming is a language. It has a structure, a set of things that make it up like rules, syntax and context, among other things. Familiarize yourself with it and you are already one step ahead. But don't overdo it. Many beginners tend to memorize each and every syntax and snippet of code and they get overwhelmed so easily. When you forget a syntax, just Google it. But make sure you know what the code does. That's the important bit. Number two, practice. This is a no brainer. The best way to learn programming is through practice. The more you practice, the better you get. What doesn't work at all is watching three to four hour long full course videos in one go without actually writing any code. I'm telling you this because I was in the same boat when I started learning React a few years ago. I kept on watching one videos after another, thinking I would learn so much in a couple of hours, but when I sat down to write the actual code, I got stuck the very first line. Meaning, only watching videos does not work. So it's very important to pause the video, write the code and think about what you have written. When you have done that, maybe search through some more examples on Google and practice them as well. This way you will understand things much faster. In fact, you might even begin to understand what works and what does not, in particular programming problems. Number three, consistency. You need to remember that programming is a skill. Like any other skill, you'll need to consistently put in the hours and the effort to get better. In fact, being dedicated enough to code on consistent basis is necessary trait of a programmer. There is no way you will learn to code in a single day or even a week if you aren't familiar with it. My suggestion, try learning to code in chunks, an hour a day for at least three to four times a week. It's much better than learning for three to four hours straight, getting adjusted, skipping the next week or so. This is how many people give up on learning. And always remember, consistency is a key. Even if you have devoted fewer hours per day, there is no shortcut to learning. Learning programming is a long game. So where to start? Now comes the million dollar question. What to learn and where to start? There are literally tens of most learned programming languages in 2022 and probably thousands of ways to learn them. Just pick one and get to work. If you want my suggestion, pick Python. It is one of the easiest programming languages to learn. 
To make it even easier, try our Learn Python app and just get started. Spend your time learning and coding Python in the app, follow our video series on Python and see if it's something you'd be interested to learn. If yes, put in the hours to practice, dedicate yourself to the craft. Before you know it, you'll have already learned the basics and you'll be ready to apply them in real world scenarios. Before I end this video, I'd like to make a special announcement. For the month of January, we are giving away 50% off on Pro to help you level up your coding. If that's not enough, we are also giving free Pro subscription to 5 of our social media followers every day for next 5 days. So if you want a chance to win one or if you want to learn programming in general, hit that subscribe button now, details in the description below. That's it for this year. Wishing you a very happy new year from all of us at Programmies. See you in 2022.